A very good morning and welcome to the West Midlands Safari Park where I'm here today with the one and only the fisherman. Ah. The fisherman's back, look at this, the yellow coat is back on and we're here today to see all the different animals and of course yes. do some attractions as well. What else have we got here Charlotte? We've got the goats. We've got the goat. The goat park. We've got the goat park. But we'll uh, head over there later on. Charlotte loves the goats. Like I say, we're going to go around the safari. Now normally you can take your car around, you pay to come in and that gets you access to all of this area here. You can walk around where the rides and things are, but you need to pay extra uh, for a ride wristband. So we'll show you just about uh, how you do that later on. We've also paid six pounds extra. So instead of taking our car around, you actually go uh, in a minibus and see the animals, which is a lot better, Ooh, isn't it? Yeah, it's a lot better than taking your car through. Yeah, it is. There's no risk of any damage no to your car. And it's just worth it. Like six pound, when you get here, the car park's just out this side. There's a little booth uh, on the left-hand side when you come through the uh, little entrance plaza here, the Lost City Plaza. And uh, yeah, you can pay just there to go on one of the tours. Uh, they're at different points throughout the day, and we're going to be doing one in about half an hour's time uh, this morning. So we'll do that first, and then make our way down to do the uh, amusement rides later on. Uh, but just before that, I think we've got time just to, to see the brand new for 2018 Ice Age here at the Westman Safari Park. It opened just a couple of days ago. Uh, on Friday, I think it opened, and it's Sunday today, Easter Sunday. Happy Easter. Uh, even though Easter will pretty much be over by the time this is on, but there you go. Happy Easter for next year or if you watch it in the future uh, but yeah so we're gonna go and check out Ice Age now you might be thinking Ice Age what it's not based on the film it's actually based on the Ice Age itself the Ice and, Age era oh yes the Ice Age era and they've actually got the uh, land of the living dinosaurs that they put in a few years ago I absolutely love it animatronic dinosaurs and uh, yeah it's great Charlotte's in her element she <laughs> loves the dinosaurs so yeah, it's quite quiet this morning, considering it is Easter. But uh, yeah, we'll have a good look at all this stuff in detail a bit later on. We'll see the new Ice Age stuff, uh, make our way to the tour. And then, uh, yeah, it's going to be a really good day. Looking forward to it. Here we go then, Ice Age. You've got the sign, which is nicely lit up down here and plenty of rock work around. That's what we like to see. Make our way over this bridge. This never used to be here before, did it's it? It's a very nice bridge. Yeah, because that's where you go into the other dinosaur exhibit. There they are, peeking through the trees. <laughs> now, here we go, I believe. Oh, I can see one over the fence there as well. I believe they've done like a big volcano around here. Ooh, we've got the audio. It's a bit spooky, isn't it? I don't think it's supposed to be spooky, but it feels spooky. Whoa. This is a genuine fossil. There you go. Volcanic rock that forms when molten rock material cools rapidly, resulting in volcanic glass. Why is it and so glossy? It's lovely. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, wow, look at this. Big volcano. Wow. Warning. I've always been impressed with the theme in what they do here, though. They do a really good job of stuff like this. Oh, the floor's, like, vibrating. Oh, that's really weird. I don't know if it's just the bass from the speaker or not, but the floor is, like, Shaking. Oh, wow. That's a really nice effect there, like a, a light just underneath and the floor, yeah, you, you feel it actually vibrating. Wow. Like all the lava inside this volcano. That's good. Really good, yeah. That's a good start. I can see a mammoth. A mammoth? <laughs> there we go. Wow! Hey! <laughs> what we got over there? Dinosaur. Oh wow, really good animatronics. Oh, that's a really realistic one, nice and furry. God, that's actually a really good animatronic. God, look at the size of the mammoth down there as well. Massive. I mean, the land of the living dinosaurs really paid off for them here at Westmid Safari Park, so I'm glad this they put this in. Is the hornless beast? It's you! <laughs> <laughs> Go on, just stand next to the sign, the hornless beast. There we go. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Hello. This is great. I mean, imagine, I love it, and I'm 24 years old. Imagine being a kid walking I around love here. It. Uh, it's, yeah, it's great. Yeah, these are massive. I mean, look at all the trees and stuff around here. 
And look at the size of these, they are huge, really nicely detailed as well. Look really good, they do. This is the giant beast! Ah! Whoa, look at that, and he is giant. Climbing up that tree there. It's a rhino! Look at that. Yeah, you also get some really nice views into the safari. Oh my god, they're all out. Oh, they've got a little baby rhino as well somewhere. Unless that is the baby and it's now grown up. Yeah, the baby's grown up now. Oh, wow. oh look at this one. Hello. Oh, hello. Hard <laughs> tooth. Oh. Clip to them. I think the quality of the animatronics is really nice. I mean, they've got a really swift movement to them, you know, they're not like stuttery. The yeah, yeah, they do, don't they? Like the, the movements of the mouth and stuff. Re yeah, re really impressed with this. They keep adding and adding to West Midland Safari Park, uh, which is great. I remember saying to Charlotte when I came here as a kid, it's changed a lot since I came on a school trip all them years ago. There you go. A, hello. Hi. <laughs> You're on YouTube. Hey. <laughs> Some more over here. Yeah, really good animatronics. Quite scary. Yeah, yeah, well we said it was quite scary when we were walking up on the path with the music and stuff. Yeah, it looked great. <laughs> See you later. Thank you. Oh, there's some more there, yeah. Wow. It's really immersive as well because you can't really see or hear anything else other than in this area and because it's all built in the trees. Really recommend coming down to check this out. It's nice that you can get really close to them as well. There's not like massive fences all around these. You know, you can get really nice and close to them. And if you are coming with the kids, obviously you can have photos with them and, and film it, you know, it, it's great. Oh, wow. <laughs> There's the bear, the cave bear. Oh, wow, look at that. It's probably some of the most impressive theme yeah, in the UK. Really like with the volcano and all the mammoths in front. And it's actually a really big area as well. Obviously the bridge where we came in was all the way there. Walk through the volcano, all the way around the back, up into those trees, and then area. down it. Yeah, honestly, they've done a really good job with that. The woolly mammoth there. Look at the and they are huge as well. They're probably, what, three or four times the, the height of us? Really, really good. So we're now walking through the bottom of the volcano and you can see they've got a really nice ice effect where you can just see through there as well. And these little uh, tunnels and stuff for the kids to walk around. Really good. I like this a lot. I assume this leads us round to the exit, does it? There you go. Really nice theme and really realistic as well. Like, you look at the way they've done it. Looks great, I'm really impressed with that. I assume that's the end. Yeah. There we go. Oh, even the exit corridor is nicely themed though. Yeah, really enjoyed that. I think that's one of our favourite things here actually. I'd take that over the uh, Land of the Living Dinosaurs. I think that's even more uh, immersive, even more of an experience. I think it's having the volcano uh, that really makes that. I enjoyed that a lot. What did you think, Yeah, Charlotte? I really enjoyed that. It's a really good area. Like, it's a really good addition. Like I say, the movements and stuff of those yeah. animatronics as well, really realistic. Sometimes you go to uh, some of these places and the movement of the animatronics is quite poor. Yeah, yeah they're a bit like, a bit juddery and stuff. Whereas yeah. with that, really nice swift movements, you know, uh, very natural. Um, yeah, they look great. That's the other uh, Land of Living Dinosaurs. We'll go in there a little bit later on because it's time for our uh, safari tour in a moment. Um, but yeah, two really good dinosaur areas. It's just like perfect playground, isn't it really? Dinosaurs and goats. Dinosaurs and goats. She loves it, don't you? <laughs> but anyway, we'll make our way around to the minibus and uh, yeah, go and see some animals on the safari. And like I say, we'll come back down here and explore it all later on. There's so much to see down here. There's like an aquarium, uh, there's a sea lion show, and then you've got all the rides and amusement area down the bottom and there's like the little farm area where the goat park is down there as well. I started saying goat like you know, I goat. goat. The goat. goat. <laughs> right, let's go to the minibus. Here we go, we're on the bus. This species are critically endangered. Charlotte's in the window. I'm in the window. We have to put our sunglasses on. 
Very yeah, it's sunny today. He's a southern white rhino. When he died, he was a northern white rhino. So it's a very slight difference. I must admit, when you look at the two, you can't tell the difference. But the, the scientists say there is a difference. Oh, I've got, there's some table ones actually, we've got one called Sally. Oh, he's close, look. <laughs> Charlotte's got her uh, sunglasses, have a look. Yeah, we'll <laughs> you've got your mini sunglasses. Oh, we're not at Disneyland now. I know. And these are really oh. quick. All these are animals from Africa, Central Africa. So this tells you all about the different animals up here as well. well Safari really Tours, nice mini Animal Spotting Guide. This is only our third day of feeding, and yet already they've clocked it. Me and the Shut passengers have got food, yeah. Look. <laughs> you see what they're doing? This is a calf. These are quite... Come well done. Good sport, I know you're just... Let's move them up. Look at the end of it. Oh, hello. <laughs> beautiful eyelashes, look. Oh. Hello there. <laughs> no scratches on the back, are quite normal. They look as though they've been... Hello. But they don't have scratches on the back. Sally. Sally. Oh, she's... We have to see Sally now. Oh. Sally's up. Sally. Oh, look at the size of that piece. Don't be greedy. We might come to... <laughs> oh. too busy. Too busy jumping on. Fresh high. Yeah, that's Sally. Hello. Oh, there's one. There's another one here. They are, they're very attractive. The girls go up to two and a half tonnes, and the boy Barney goes up to three tonnes. That is Barney, actually. Yeah, this is Barney. Barney's on the right. Barney. Barney. Barney the rhino. Yeah. Barney. And the thing is, as well, all rhinos, Indian and African rhinos, yeah, with green spots on his back. Oh, look at all of them in the snooze here. <laughs> they're all doing Sunday morning chicken. I like how Charlotte just keeps saying hello to them. They can't eat, you know. Hello. <laughs> look at that. Oh, it's Dingo. Males and females have got horns. That looks like so a goat. They don't actually look like sheep, do they? But these are the ones that... I'm on the wrong side, aren't I, for shots here? It's fine. We have to insure them for a million pounds each. A million pounds each. <laughs> He's there, can you see? Oh, He's right in the middle. Nice. The there we go, look at all those. There's a male. We just said there's only 90 girls and one boy. Look at these. There's the boy with the horns. Come on. Come on. So I can get some interest. Oh, we've got the Barasinga. Now, these bigger ones are called Barasinga. And they're oh, all girls. straight for us. Come on, they're, we, they're all being a bit scruffy because they're coming straight for us. She's going to be quite proud, actually. Yeah. She's going to be quite proud. 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 She's going to because our VIP hasn't got very good here. Right, I go right in and cut right in. How are we doing? Can we see? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it. Oh, yeah. Wow. yeah, we got one on this side as well, folks. So this is one of the males. He knows something's going on. Look. Oh, this is brilliant. This is really good. Two of them there. Two, yeah. We've got two and two, you see. Wow. Have you seen that in a second? Yeah. So this is the world's fastest Fantastic. land animal, by far. These guys can do a standing start to 70 miles an hour, just four seconds. Wow. Yeah, this is good, this is a great view. Now these guys will have paid... Yeah, 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 that's why you'd say, take, take your belts off, have a climb up, have a good look. Yeah, the window down as well, if you want. So we can hear what's going on as well. Now that, that's quite a treat, that is, because it's fully booked, and the pay for um, a big cat feed Oh, he's in the region, two, three hundred pounds a head. Wow. So, um, well, there's a lot of pennies being spent over there. Wow. Yeah. That's why they got VIP on that. that. Two hundred pounds. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can't afford that one. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Wow. Um, while we're here as well, can you see they've got a black tear stain? Yeah. Well, I think because they spend such a lot of energy gumballing and larking about, <laughs> they have like about two or three sort of naps. Yeah. And um, they'll probably be in that mid afternoon, but in the meantime, they'll be laughing about again. That's our girl, and she's been a bit flirtatious. Because they don't really know what to do. 
Yeah. Which is the good thing about these tours is you can go off road a little bit as well, like that's the normal way round. So we get some good shots, we'll move across, which is good. Now she's, she's the female, she's ours and she's in season and she's, she hasn't had a family before and they haven't mated before. So it's all, looking quite relaxed at the moment, isn't she, look? Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty good. No, no, they would, uh, they might dispatch us. Here's the rest of the girls. Yes, she's not white like in Snow White, are they? But it's certainly Some white see, lions. It's certainly different. See what it costs to them. Yeah, see, have a look. That's what happens. People get obviously wrapped up in it and they can cause traffic jams or something. Yeah. Oh, he's quite chilled now, but Rolo was saying the last few weeks has been quite agitated because he hears them, he smells them. Yeah, he's having another lion. Yeah. There's the baby rhino all the way over there. She's a little girl. She's still on time. She's having a go. She's still chasing. Oh. She chases everything. Oh no, she gets into trouble. There's mum chasing after her. Look. Look, look at that. What are your food? Oh my goodness. They're called Congo buffalo. There's a bird on his back. But massive ears. That ear is only half spread out at the moment. It fans up like a. Mm. Yeah, not remotely like, bothered um, about the bird. Are you enjoying yeah. it so far, Sean? Yeah, I'm loving it. <laughs> Fishman. <laughs> no, doing a pretty girl, isn't he, on the boat? The bird's gone. Yes, they're Bengals and they're bigger. So again, there's people, particularly people of Asian origin, say, no, hang on, these are Bengals. These aren't, there's lots of different sorts of tigers in the world. Yeah. Yeah. It's gone down to uh, no. too much. Mm. Yeah. Some archibald. Look, that one's gone near the car. Yes, the barley tiger's gone, the Java, Java tiger, all those now are ex extinct. And there's, back in Sumatra, the rainforest has been bulldozed in favour of blooming palm oil plantations. Yeah. That's when they get funny, is if you suddenly wind your window up. Yeah, they're all girls, and we've got one big male, and he's called Trevor. And he's dark in colour. I've got a feeling that is Trevor, actually. Yeah, that looks like Trevor. twigs, and they strip the bark off the sticks. And that's where they get the nourishment. They're having a bit they're in the mud now, look. They're having a bit of play in the mud. Mm. <laughs> when it gets hot, they throw mud all over themselves. I suppose that's the... Protect the coats, yeah. Yeah. Parasites, yeah. Yeah. Aww. This is yeah. this has definitely been a good bus, this Oh yeah. We've seen uh, all kinds of monkey business. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Behave. Yeah, behave yourself. Yeah, literally. Yeah. Right, just gonna. Yeah. You can see he's just mischievous. Playful. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Say cheese. They give you a funny cheesy grin as well, though. <laughs> 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 when you look at so it, you'll get a cheesy grin now, though. What, Maxie? Right next to you. Yeah, I've seen them. I've seen them. Yeah, we've got the camel crossing now. Oh. No, no, Max. Reminds me of Dubai when me and Harry went on a camel. Check out the vlog if you've not seen it. <laughs> Very close. She's got lovely eyelashes, look. <laughs> 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 so, 
So these guys, we've got a wall in front of us now. These guys, these are the Bakshin couples from Mongolia, China, and um, Gobi oh Desert. God. Here's Trevor, he's in the front. This is the yeah. The girls are all following him, look. Oh well, beautiful hairstyles, haven't they? Yeah. A bit like mine in a morning. Loads of them. It's a procession. Come. Yeah, they're all on a mission, look. And here's, the, here's the ranger in opera suit as well. <laughs> Here are Uncle Lee Campbell. Yeah, most, 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 yeah, yeah. 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 the Yeah. 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 Well, yeah, a few people ask me that. I've got to say, I don't know if it's a fallacy. I've never seen any example of ostriches putting their heads in the sand. They don't fly. But they don't. There we go. So we've got, just come off the uh, tour. That was great, that wasn't was it? Absolutely amazing. We really enjoyed yeah. that. It lasted what about 90 minutes, about That's an hour and a half. Right. It was amazing. Yeah, it was really good. Yeah, the the fellow over there. Let me show you so you can uh, give him a pay rise. There you go. That guy there. He was great, wasn't he? Yeah, really, really good. Really good. Yeah, and he slowed down loads for us, yeah. and we got some really good shots. Hey, Minnie Mouse. Got some really good shots there of all the animals. I think uh, my favourite was the elephants there yeah, at that time, all really playing about good. and stuff. Uh, we saw like the little baby rhino. We saw everything. It was really good. That I'm not. Not really a massive animal person it's more of a charlotte but yeah i still enjoy yeah, a safari really park not a big fan of zoos but i quite like safari oh, parks gosh. you know and it's nice i really like that uh, but yeah fair play he was a great guy yeah, like i say six pound each for the tour you book it from the vip experiences booth just there and i think that's well worth yeah, it well worth you probably it. spend not far off in fuel stopping and yeah. starting anyway uh, and obviously there's no risk to your car then is there really and he can go off-road. We didn't do much off-roading today because it was really boggy in a lot of uh, uh, areas and stuff. But it also means that he can make like little shortcuts and things. So you're not really waiting about much. You're going around there and you're seeing all the action. Uh, yeah, that was really good, that was. And it, on average, it lasts about an hour and 15 minutes, he said. That was a bit of a longer one, that, because of so much going on. He wanted to make sure we got the complete experience. But it's not really scripted, is it? You know, it's... Uh, Enjoyed that. Yeah, it's it not amazing. not scripted. It just yeah. sort of goes with the flow, really, with it. And, and I think that's really nice. But uh, we'll make our way in. Gonna get some uh, food and stuff, and then we'll uh, get on, get on, get on some rides, and of course see the goats. The goats. Yeah. <laughs> So we've made our way down now to the adventure theme park, or as Charlotte's been calling it. The fairground. I would say it used to be more of a fairground. Now they've tried to theme it really nicely. I mean, it looks really good now. It's a lot more than just a, a fairground. I mean, this restaurant here, the Burger Co., which I think is where we're going to go now have some food. Uh, yeah, you got Easter eggs around as well. Uh, this is really well themed. I mean, look at it. It probably looks better than any of the restaurants at the Merlin Parks in terms of all the, the decor and detailing on it. Here's a look at the menu. Food here is reasonably priced, I'd say. Uh, I normally bring a lunchbox today, I've not. I'm eating today. Charlotte's brought a lunchbox though. But so yeah, it's busy around here in the uh, adventure theme park. You've got quite a few things. You've got Venom Drop Tower over there. Not seen that going though yet, I hope it's on. Uh, oh, that's good then. Wild River Rafting, you've got Zambezi over there. There's a ghost train, there's Dodgems. You've got a couple of coasters, you've got the Black Fly over there a few flats and uh, yeah it's not too bad at all that I'll show you the price and then that when we head over there and get a wristband uh, like I say to get into this segment here you don't have to pay to walk around here uh, once you've already paid to come into the actual safari park but you can either buy individual ride tokens or a wristband uh, but we'll talk about that in a moment as we've had some food and the award for the quickest food service goes to the Burger Co at Westman Safari Park. I ordered that chicken nuggets there, and it's coming, look at this, it's coming a cup, but quite modern. How long did I order that ago? Literally, what, 20 seconds ago, I literally walked out the door. So we're sitting outside, there's a big indoor area there as well if you don't want to sit outside, but it's quite warm in there. Uh, yeah, I literally walked straight back out, sat down, took my bag off, and there it was. But uh, yeah, it looks quite nice. Not a huge portion, um, but yeah, not too bad. Seven pound, quite standard sort of price, ready for uh, theme park food. How much was yours? Free. Free. <laughs> to be honest, I normally bring a lunchbox, but today it was a late night last night. We were in London last night, me and Alex, and uh, we went down to New Thought Park and uh, went to ride on the uh, new Walking Dead attraction, which was okay. My full review it is now on the channel, so make sure you check it out. It's nothing amazing, um, but yeah, I'll talk more about it in that video. So I'll have my food, and then we'll get on some rides here at West Mids.
Really nice food that was. I definitely recommend the Burger Co. Uh, over in the middle of the amusement park. So obviously here you can get all the different types uh, of wristbands, what you can get. So you've got over 1.4 meters, a list of all the different rides uh, that are on there. You got a giraffe on that one. Then you got the, the zebra one there, 1.2 to 1.4 meters. Then you got all them rides that are on that one. Then you got this one here, the lion one, which is from one meter to 1.2. Uh, and then it just goes down in order basically and there's your information board at the end uh, wristband office closes at 5 Rye closes at 6 at the moment and they've got a, a board there as well telling you what's in operation and what's closed in terms of prices an adult wristband's £14 uh, concessions £13 children uh, are £12 and then the little penguins uh, 0.8 to 1 metres are £8 and you buy them just here from the wristband office alright let's get on some rides <laughs> Then just had a ride on the Rhino roller coaster just here at the Westmoreland Safari Park. It's not a bad little ride, actually. I mean, I think it'll look even better if it had a bit more theming and things around. But you've got these Easter eggs here at the moment as part of a trail. We're also joined by some familiar faces. You might recognize these from Cosasaurus. We've got Rob and Tina there as well, and little Peter. Say hello. Hey, let's go and check them out on Cosasaurus. You hear a lot, aren't you? It's a local, uh, yeah, it's a local, a local park, park for these guys. They know a lot more about it than I do. But uh, yeah, here we go, here's the Rhino Coaster in action that we've just been on. It's nice around here, I do enjoy it. You've got a couple of coasters. That there is Venom, that's a Fabry drop tower. And it's actually one of the most intense drop towers in the UK. It might not look like it, uh, but I always say this, sometimes the smaller ones uh, are actually more intense than the taller drop towers. I mean, I'm a huge fan of Apocalypse at Drayton Manor. Uh, that's an Intamin drop tower. But I find that a lot more forceful uh, than, say, Hurricane Condor, uh, which is also an Intamin drop tower located at Port Ventura in Spain. Um, but yeah, you look at Venom there, it doesn't look much, but when you get on it, it is a violent ride. <laughs> Rhino in action, then we're going to go on Twister. Standard crazy mouse coaster this one, but it actually gets going quite a lot towards the end. I need to do the one on uh, Blackpool Pier, that's open now on South Pier. Uh, they're claiming that to be the fastest one in the UK, so we'll uh, soon see about that one when I go there and try it out. I'm pretty sure they're all the same sort of speed, these, but that's what they're claiming anyway. We'll go there and give it a go at some point, and uh, with it being Blackpool Pier, I'm sure I can take you along for the ride on that one. Here comes Charlotte and Peter. I can hear someone screaming on this one. Yeah. And I think it's Charlotte. Airtime coming up. Whee! <laughs> Whee! I can hear you screaming from all the way over here. Sharp break, sharp break. <laughs> wasn't too crazy, that one. I was in with Rob and Tina. It wasn't too bad, that, was it? Not no, spinning no, that no. much there. I say not too bad, we wanted it to spin really, that's what we want, isn't it, with these things? Yes. But uh, no, it was alright that was, not too bad. Just good fun family rides, that, nothing special. Uh, but, you know, you've got to do it, you? Well, whilst they're here, you've got to make the most of them. Classic Revision spinning miles. So here they are, going up on the Fabric Drop Tower, known as Venom. I have not gone on this due to the fact of me not liking drop towers and Sean always says oh if you go on it once you've never got to go on it again so I've not gone on it there they are at the top there they are it's quite a forceful drop tower this one Just had a really good ride then on Venom. I don't know what happened with the commentary just. Charlotte didn't come on. All I know is that there's some funny commentary apparently according to Tina and Charlotte. So I'll find out when I'm editing it, I suppose. Um, but yeah, we've come for a little walk now around the African village. This is really nice actually. I was just saying now, when they do something here at West Midland Safari Park, they always do a really good job of it. The finish of it, all the little details, things like these down here, they just don't need to be here. Uh, but it's put in because it looks really nice. And I appreciate that. I like all the little bits. 
And Charlotte's here for one reason only. Yes, but I'm very <laughs> sad because the goats oh, are now no. penned up, so they're not free. They're behind a fence now. Yeah, last time we were here, they, they were just free, weren't they, to walk around? What's the best way of getting around to them? We'll go through the Lima Woods. Yeah, let's have a walk through the Lima Woods. Lee Woods. Lee Woods, Lima Woods. <laughs> it has to be said, come on. Yeah, Venom was really good there, really intense. Uh, it's a fantastic ride, I really enjoy it. And like I said before we went on, uh, it's always the smaller drop towers what seems to be the more intense ones for some reason. I don't know why, but that just seems to be how it is. I suppose John Wardy made this quote a while back, but obviously when something's falling, you can only fall for so long, you're always going to get that same sort of speed, aren't you really? Whether you're 400 foot tall or whether you're 100 foot tall, uh, once you've reached that speed of falling, you're not really going to go any faster, if that makes any sense. And that's why Oblivion at Alton Towers is still, uh, you know, it might be a bit of a one-drop wonder out there, people call it. Uh, but you've got to really look at Oblivion and think, actually, you're getting the same sort of speed on that at the bottom of the drop as you are on a bigger dive coaster such as Sheikra. Um, you know, so it's a fantastic, uh, you know, fantastic drop tower, well worth going to see. It's a, a good park, it's nice here, it's a good day out, it is a really good day out. And here we go, into Lee Woods, Lima Woods now. <laughs> so these still roam free, don't they, around here, I think. All roam all around in the trees and things. If we can see anything, I can't see out, can you? Last time we came in here, there was a turkey. A what? A turkey. Was it a turkey? Yeah. Oh, yeah, well, I remember now, there was a turkey. I can't see anything at the moment, unless they're all down the top end. That's the thing with animals, you either get all or nothing. We did quite well on the tour earlier on, we got loads. <laughs> so they're quite far away from the footpath, but we can just see some of them over there on the floor and up in the trees, some of the lemurs. You can just make out some of the tails there sticking up through the grass. Luckily I've got a good zoom on this camera so we can see them quite close actually. There they are. Here we go, it's the goats. <laughs> How do you feel, Charlotte? Amazing. <laughs> be even yeah, better this, if there was walking. Oh, no, yeah, this fence never used to be here. Basically, they used to come and walk all around this section, and if you watch the vlog from when we was here a couple of years back, you'll see that in action. But, yeah, they've, uh, they've blocked them in now, but you can still stroke them over the fence. It's not like they're behind a massive fence. You can still get up to them and see what Charlotte does and have selfies with them and stuff, you know. But, yeah, it's nice that they have all this stuff as well. There is a lot here for your money's worth. When you think about it, all the safari uh, over there, I definitely recommend doing that on a morning though, if you come uh, during the summer or when it's a busier time, because it looks like there's a lot of queues and stuff to get round over there, uh, especially during the holidays. I suppose it is Easter at the moment. But yeah, probably do that early, and then you can come down here, have a walk round, obviously see all the dinosaurs, the new Ice Age section, get a wristband if you want to do the rides. Um, but yeah, it's definitely a full day out. Oh, that one's enjoying that. Enjoying a nice stroke. <laughs> I'm shaking Hello. it too. Oh. Love. He's enjoying that. The goats. <laughs> Charlotte, you can also shoot. They're quite relaxing, aren't they? This one. Oh, here you go, Charlotte. This one's for you. <laughs> oh, when we came last time, I've got a photo of that one. Oh, and. There he is. <laughs> hello there. Oh, that's my favourite one. Say hello. Hello, viewers. <laughs> <laughs> Have you had your selfie with it yet? Yes. <laughs> I see oh. she's got a phone at the ready. Oh. Hello, goat. Come. Oh, look. Oh, there you go. Selfie time. Yeah. Oh, look. Look, oh, they want... Say hello to the viewers, that's it. Say hello. Be set oh. oh, no, he's had enough, that's he it. Like he doesn't like the camera. <laughs> there you go. I say, get that camera off me now, Sean. Take it away. <laughs> So here we go, you might have uh, realised this has changed since last time I was here and uh, I didn't realise actually, there used to be quite a few different children's flat rides and things there. Never really looked uh, that good in my opinion, but now they've put in like a play area, there's lots of seating down there, you've got like a, a food truck at the back, there's like a bandstand in the middle, and it's all themed around, well, Rob's had to help me with this one, Bod Bodge. Bodge. It's not a Bodge job though, they've done a good no, job of it. Yeah, it's Bodge Giggly Park, and apparently that's a CBeebies uh, character, I wouldn't have known that, you see, if we didn't see these today. There you go, I learned something today. And, uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and it looks really nice, this. It's all got the fence all the way around, all the colours on it. Obviously, with it being CB, it's all quite bright and, and nicely themed. And uh, yeah, I really like the look of that. All the hanging baskets and stuff there on this little shed. You've got all these little tunnels. It looks like there's a few little uh, viewing 
holes in the top there so you can sort of look up from underneath. I presume that's what they're for. I don't know if you've been crawling through the tunnels, have you, Rob? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, you've got a few bits of play equipment and stuff. It looks nice, that does. Swings, slides, and it's all got the nice festoon lights and flags over it as well. So, yeah, it looks really nice, that does. Definitely an improvement and uh, better than just a few little uh, children's flat rides. And you've got that one on the corner just down there as well. Uh, which uh, was, it wasn't there on the corner before, was it that one? Did it move or not? Uh, no, I think the, the, the flying lines was always was there. Was it always there, was it? Um, there is a, one of the roundabouts has moved from there into the, in, the, in, the, into the main park. But uh, no, it looks better, that does. Certainly an improvement. Charlotte, I'm stuck. I'm, I'm stuck, Charlotte. I'm stuck. John! Hello! This way, get out this way. This way? Uh, I'm in the kids' play park. Which way am I going? Uh, <laughs> there we go. That's, that's, that's the best fun I've had all day, that. Oh, they're up there now. Best fun I've had all day, that was. I enjoyed that. And here's Sean rolling down the hill. Here we go. Can I have a countdown from three, please? Three, two, one. Mind yourself, I'm coming down. <laughs> it's a good new area. So it's time to get yet another slide crate. Slide crate, here we go. In the CBB's play area. Yellow coat. Yellow coat on a yellow slide, here we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> She's off. That's nearly as bad as what I just did. I was on that like what Peter's on now. That one is still wobbling. That one at the back there, I just went flying off the side. Don't worry, it's a good play area. Just uh, please play responsibly on this one. Yeah. Can get a bit dangerous. Here we go. <laughs> I honestly went flying off that one just. I wasn't anticipating how much it was going to go backwards. And it just hits the floor. There's no sign saying it's not for adults, right? Whee, that's pizza. You clear? Here we go. Charlotte and Peter have just been on the slippery snake. Hey. Oh, what is he, what's he doing? <laughs> Here she comes, coming down the green side. You got a choice, you got the red one or the green one. Is she going to come out fast or slow? We'll soon find out. Whee! Oh, it was a slow one, wasn't it? <laughs> I thought you were going to come flying out into this fence then. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> You've heard of Jewel at Alton Towers. You've heard of Darren Brown's Ghost Train at Thorpe Park. But nothing can compare to the one, the only, Dr. Umbato's Catacombs, yes, here we go. It's the big one, the highlight of a visit here to the West Midland Safari Park. It's been here for years, and every time I ride this thing, I fall more and more in love with it. Here we go, time for the catacombs. Are you ready, Charlotte? I can't remember it. What? How can you not remember this memorable experience? Right, it's that high quality, all these animatronics and everything, special effects, smoke, fire, pyrotechnics. I just can't remember it. I don't know why Rob's laughing, to be honest. It's great, this thing. Here we go, catacombs. Is it not scary, Peter? What about all this quality theming? The soundtrack. That fan there from Wilco. There's Peter Lutz spinning around in a little teacup. That's a fun one for the kids on this. Carousel with a teacup attached to it. Charlotte and Tina just behind there. Charlotte tried to get on this horse here, but she couldn't fit on it because it's got a bar at the back. <laughs> I've not told them, don't worry. 
<laughs> it's our secret, no one will know. Um, so yeah, we did the catacombs. Of course, I was joking about that in terms of the effect, as you saw from the footage that I took on there. Uh, it needs a bit of work, that, doesn't it? I just feel like a soundtrack on there would really enhance it, some better lighting, well, just everything, really. Could do with a lot more uh, with, with that. I mean, the ride system itself, it is quite short, but it doesn't need to be a long ride for it to be improved. Just some more stuff around there would be great. Even lighting up some of the stuff what already exists. Because I feel like there's quite a lot of stuff in there where you just get a quick flash of a light or whatever, and you don't really get to appreciate it much. So yeah, it doesn't need loads of work, but certainly a soundtrack playing around the ride would uh, certainly help with that experience. Did Hurling Hippos, that's really good. One of my favorites here, actually. Uh, really good. Me and Charlotte struggled to lift up a little bit, but we did get going in the end. And it's got a really good, like, bouncy soundtrack to it playing around the ride as well, uh, that really fits with that one. We did go for a go on Kong, but uh, that seems to be closed for technical issues at the moment. So I'll try and get around that a bit later on. And um, yeah, I'll show you a bit more ride footage here from around Westburn and Safari Park. It's a really nice theme park, this. I mean, there's not loads of stuff here but it's certainly got a good variety of stuff for the kids and for families as well and for 14 pound for an adult wristband i don't think it's too bad at all i think it's really well priced and there we go the carousel's come to the end of its cycle and peter is still spinning over there look at him go so after doing a few more rides over in the theme park we're back to come and have a look at the land of the living dinosaurs we were last in here a couple of years ago in the year that this first opened and uh, yeah i really like all this it proves that it was a big success though hence why they built ice age uh, that i showed you right back at the start of this vlog i just really like these walkthrough attractions and there's a lot of little detail that goes into them all the little plaques and things around uh, obviously you've got the big animatronics but what the big thing is for me with this is just how close you can get to things and if you're a little kid you've got to imagine you're down at this sort of height and you've got a big fence around something you're not going to see over it or your parents have got to pick you up to look over with this a kid can just stand here and have a picture and look right at these and they just look great don't they really good it was nice to see uh, tina rob and peter as well wasn't it, it was. always nice to see him yeah peter loves you I know. but the problem is he steals you off me i know if he, if peter sits with you on all the rides I know. yeah <laughs> but no, it is great around here oh there you go still got the sign up around the back oh, i like how you can actually see the volcano from here that's quite good maybe we might actually see them put uh, an entrance way so it comes into here or maybe they'll want to keep them separate i'm not too sure seems interesting how it still says new development under construction I say that this did only open two days ago, the, well, the Ice Age walkthrough. I suppose they've just put this uh, fence in here. Well, that fits from this side, at least the theme the back of it as well. This has grown over quite nicely since I was last here actually. It looks a lot more natural now. Obviously it looked quite new before. It's nice, all the trees and plants and things have all grown a lot more. And the size of these animatronics is crazy. Oh, look at that one up there. I'd forgotten just how big some of these were. I mean, look at the size of this one compared to Charlotte, look. There she is down there. A <laughs> comparison between you and the dino. Oh. What was that? Ah. Sounds like Charlotte getting out of bed on the morning, that. <laughs> All the sound effects are really good around here as well. They've done an amazing job with this. I forgot just how good this was, actually. Earlier on, I said the Ice Age I thought was better, but I don't know, I'd say they're both on par, actually. After going back around this and seeing it again, especially now all the trees and stuff have grown a lot more, I'd probably say they're both on par, actually. <laughs> That's me when I'm hungry, <laughs> when I can't get my chicken nuggets or my hot dog.
back in the theme park then now where I've just had a ride on the black fly. Really intense flat ride that one actually. Uh, you get a good swing on it and a really good cycle as well. Uh, they always run on a good cycle here at Westminster Safari Park, uh, which is good to see. You see in the background there, Charlotte's getting her uh, hair tied up and the hood's, hood's going on, ready for the Wild River Rafting. Here we go. It's basically a travelling rapids, what's uh, been permanently set up here. It looks all right actually with a bit of theming about and stuff. It's quite nice. Only quite a short ride, but it's worth it. that one didn't we the fisherman sorry fisherwoman stop calling you a fisherman shouldn't I really there we go the wettest part of that was this we got a bit of a uh, a leaky trough coming down here here you are they get so look ready hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah it's all coming down here dripping out yeah in terms of rides there's a nice variety of stuff here coming towards the end of the vlog uh, and the end of the day but as you can see there's a really good variety of attractions there's a couple of coasters a couple of water rides uh, example the disco all the flat rides there's quite a lot here i do think that uh, it's definitely justifiable for the price what they're charging for the wristbands really i'd say yeah there's just uh, enough really to make your money's worth and it's definitely a full day out here as well if you want to come and uh, see everything do the safari do the walkthroughs obviously got the bat cave and, and stuff as well you know there's so much to see uh, there really is i mean we've not even covered everything today uh, but there's a lot to see here and some really good rides down in the amusement area and even if you do just want to ride a few bits like i said earlier on you can just get your uh, ride tickets either from that kiosk or they've got these little ride ticket uh, machines all the way around the park as well do a couple more rides and then uh, wrap up the day here at west midland safari park been really good i've enjoyed it you had a nice day yes it's been lovely hasn't it really nice Kong. Charlotte stayed off, didn't you? And got some uh, some off-ride footage of me in action on there. To be honest, that was a really good cycle. I can't remember it being that good last time. I just thought it was like a normal disco, from what I remember. Uh, that then, probably the best Zampilla disco in the country. That it was running really well. That I just felt like, yeah, it was a good cycle. I was on there, what, maybe about three and a half minutes. Just kept going and going. Had some really good force to it. I'd probably say it's the best one going now, actually. But a really good cycle on that one, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, Charlotte's just sat here on there. Uh, on Kong's lap. Well, you're in his hand. I think you're in his hand, aren't you? Hey, yeah, you're sitting on his hand. But uh, there you go. They put a lot of effort in with this Easter trail as well today, putting all these out. Worth pointing out, these are all like hand painted as well. Looks really good, that does. But uh, yeah, then we've come to the end of the day, haven't we, really? We're all done for rides and stuff. We've had a good time seeing all the animals. Got quite a lot of footage today as well. I've quite enjoyed it. It's been a really nice day. And it's always good to come down here to Westman Safari Park and uh, see all the different improvements, what they've made. But we'll head back up to the main entrance. I'll show you a bit of stuff in the gift shop and we'll uh, summarize the day here at the Westmoreland Safari Park. Here we go then, so just over in the gift shop. Lots of plush toys as expected. You've got all of them, I like it. Some snakes, you got some of those? I think Charlotte enjoyed the snake slide earlier on. It's mainly teddies and stuff like this out really. They still don't seem to do like a Westman Safari Park mug. It's quite nice, all these uh, giraffes and stuff. Oh Sean, look at this. What we got? It's a goat. Oh, there you go. Even says How much are they? It's expensive. Go on. £12.99. £12.99 for that. It's a bit pricey, isn't it? A bit pricey. 
It's just saying there's no mug. It'd be great if there was a mug with a logo on. Oh, not a goat teddy. I started saying goat like Charlotte does now. Oh, you're cute, aren't they? It's a bit busy in the gift shop. Oh my god. It's pretty much all plush teddies and stuff, really. Got a few little models and stuff over there. Shaky maracas, they are. But uh, no, there we go. You got your bracelets, are they? The goo. Oh, they've got a giraffe. There we go, so we've come to the end of our day here at the Westman Safari Park. I've really enjoyed it today, seeing all the new additions. Of course, there's always little improvements to things what they do around here. Uh, but Ice Age, the new little walkthrough, I say little, it's more than that. It's amazing with the volcano, the fact that you've got smell pods in there, the quality of the animatronics. I just thought they did a really good job of that, as you saw earlier on at the start of the vlog. Uh, the highlight for me, it's got to be uh, the Ice Age walkthrough. And of course, doing the tour around as well, because for me, that really makes it. I can't imagine really coming here in my car. And, and, and driving around that. I think going on the minibus really adds to yeah, it, it, to be honest. Yeah, it adds to it, because you get all the facts and everything as you go and around. And for £6, I think that's, that's well worth it. £6. Yeah, have you had a nice day? What have been your highlights? Day. Just seeing everything again, because it's been like two years since we came, so yeah. it's nice to see all the Ice Age stuff, it's amazing. Yeah, it and is. Goats. The goats, yeah, and Land of the Living Dinosaurs is, is a really good area, actually. I forgot just how good that was. I mean, they're huge, aren't they, in there? They're probably five, six metres tall, some of those animatronics. But it's been a really good day. I recommend this place a really good day out. It's fantastic. And it's good value for what you're getting as well. It is a full day out here, especially when it's really busy. I mean, today it's not particularly been busy in terms of the queues and stuff, but I can imagine it'd take a long time to get around the safari if you are in your own car. So it's definitely a full day out. Like I say, uh, just to reiterate on the prices and things, you pay to come in, you get your safari, and then you get to watch things like the Sea Lion Show and walk around the amusement area, uh, I say it's Land of Living Dinosaurs, that's all included in the admission fee. And then if you want to ride the rides, you can either buy ride tokens or purchase a wristband. There we go, thank you very much for watching another Theme Park Worldwide vlog. Nice to see you again, Charlotte, the fisherman coat. Fisherman. When, when are we next going to see that coat then? Is it, sure is you'll it... see it again very soon. Hopefully, well, hopefully not, because hopefully we're going to get some nice weather. I know. I want some sunshine. Come on, it's April now, April showers, so they say. But hopefully we'll get some nice weather as we get out to more theme parks. Me and Charlotte have got quite a few trips planned for the next couple of weeks, so make sure you stay tuned here on Theme Park Worldwide for many more vlogs. Thank you very much for watching. And from the Westman Safari Park, that means it's time to cue those credits. Bye, guys. See you soon.